So we are so the reason he's playing Polygon Kirby, there's a challenge. I believe it's fifty dollar challenge to the highest placing player that exclusively uses polygons in the ladder format. So actually there's two people who are uh, competing for this that I know of. So Tacos and Jaime both going only polygons and are like competing to see who can place highest in the ladder. So for those that don't know, um, polygon characters do not have special moves. So he cannot use his up B and he cannot use his uh, grab. However, his hitboxes are the same. So you can see that he looks really bizarre, like he's like really fat and tall. Uh, that's deceptive because he's still regular Kirby in terms of his moves. You know, his hitboxes and hurtboxes are gonna be the same. But his recovery obviously a lot worse without the uh, without the up beam. And I'm not sure this is a very pleasant matchup, you know. I mean young Link quite good at running away using those projectiles and building up damage. Yeah, I think uh Nice edge guard there, Jaime. Going up a stock. I don't know. I don't know if it was the TO or uh, who did that. There's also a bunch of like oh tragic uh, SD there might make this game a bit less competitive. The <laughs> you can see he can't grab shield, so he, he basically just has up tilts as his shield pressure. Wow, you're welcome, Duffan. Jaime playing a very grounded uh, style here with his Kirby. And really ran away with it towards the end there. But, um, you know, that was pretty dominant by Jaime towards the end, but I don't think you can... Uh, there was a bad SD there from Combo Blaze. And I think Combo Blaze, you know, if he just keeps a bit more control than neutral, the second game could be a lot closer. We can't write him off just from that game. Polygon Kirby definitely has weaknesses. But uh, it's not the easiest thing to exploit, right? It's kind of a difficult thing uh, in video games in general, or in games as a whole, right? When you have to face something that you know is bad, but you haven't played against before, that like has flaws, but that you've never like worked to exploit. It's very embarrassing because, you know, it's easy for me to sit here and say, uh, oh, you know, he should be able to win. He doesn't have an up E. Or, you know, just exploit that he doesn't have a grab. But it's a lot harder to improvise that in person. A fantastic recovery with a bomb. He makes it back. Wow. Great use of the bomb. Oh, gets turned around. That sucks. I saw uh, Tacos was also playing Polygon Kirby. But it's possible he's also using Yoshi. I don't know. I only saw one game. I think Yoshi and, and Kirby, definitely the strongest. Puff may be kind of playable. But you lose a bit without rest and pound to recover. Kirby and Yoshi, the clear, the clear top ones. All right, can you hear me again? I had to help dogs out with another double blind. Seems like he's big into the double blinds lately, which is good. I, I've always thought those were, um, like there's no downside to, to asking for it, right? The only time it makes sense to not ask for a double blind is like if you're just hoping your opponent will pick first. It kind of enforces fairness, which I think is nice. Combo playing a little more patient here. Realizing that, you know, he can win this game. Whoa, the bomb! And Jaime, incredible patient there. Patience there to make it back to ledge with just the jumps.
Yeah, I understand why people don't do it. You know, it is time consuming. Personally, I, I think it's easier to uh, do on your phone. Oh, you need to DI. Oh, that's unfortunate. Doesn't DI out of the fair at all. Dies for it. Yeah, I understand why people don't do it. So I'm not going to say, you know, oh, you're not trying if you're not double binding or whatever. But uh, it definitely makes a lot of sense if you play multiple characters. Or if your opponent plays multiple characters. Yeah, I just like, you know, open a notes app on my phone and show it to the person. I'll type it here, you pick, show you on my phone, it takes like five seconds. Obviously, you know, maybe you could have a trick app or some way to cheat with that. It's not foolproof. Open multiple notes, I don't know. So telling someone, I guess, is more reliable, but. I have.